And that's actually, if there's a specific thing you're going after, a lot of companies will try to do a, a contest around you and saying, okay, here's $5,000 or $10,000 to whoever comes up with the best version of X. Um, and someone like Topcoder would run that. Uh, and there are other, other firms that specialize in marketing to developers. Um, and you know, a lot of what, what we see though, um, especially on the mobile side, and the Apple store came up recently, um, a lot of third parties are, are starting to build um, Apple, you know, iPhone apps, Blackberry apps, Windows mobile apps. And you know, the, 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 at Netflix, there's a great, great um, iPhone app that just came out this last week for Netflix. It costs $2.99. A lot of our guys uh, at Match are using it. I haven't had a chance to try it out yet. But what's really interesting about that is Netflix is thrilled. They're like having a much better experience for all their users, and the guy who wrote the app is getting $2.99 every time someone buys it. Netflix has no interest in that money. They want as much of that sold as possible because it means that people are going to interact with Netflix and Netflix will have more subscribers. So if someone else can make a couple of bucks every download, everyone can throw it. And we're seeing you know, Netflix did that, White Pages did that, and a bunch of our customers um, have been doing that. We've a lot of uptick in, in iPhones. It's actually the fastest. Netflix had an internal mobile app development team that was basically obsolete at the day the API opened because within 24 hours there was a Netflix app, or the iPhone app, a Blackberry app, and the mobile app. And they're like, oh, I guess we don't do that anymore. So, 